Kevin, what do you have there? Got some tips. <laughs> well, I got more tips for you, actually. Um, this is my new toy. This is Longevity's new uh, Pro MTS 252i. And you guys know I've been playing with the 200 version of this, the 200 amp version, instead of the, you know, this is the brand new one. So I thought, let me show you around a little bit, and then we'll, we'll zap some metal with it. So obviously a bigger machine, physically, than the other one. You know, it takes up a little more of a footprint. <laughs> Gives you a little more workout when you pick it up. You know, they've still got the, the MIG, TIG, and stick all stuck inside that little box. But a little more robust components, a little better fan, a lot quieter fan, thank you. Um, <laughs> but they made some nice changes to it. You can actually, I love this, <laughs> you can actually open that darn dust collector shield with a glove on. You know, where the other one you had to take your darn glove off if you wanted to reach in there and, you know, and change one of the adjustments. Yeah, come here, let me show you the band. So you got your mode selector right here for your MIG, stick, or TIG. And then a, uh, your volts or, or your amps or wire feed, depending on which function you're in. And then your volts over here, different function lights over here, you know, depending on what you're doing on the machine, the lights will change, whether it's voltage, arc force, downslope, power light, and an over temp light. And then you've got your your uh, wire feed for the amperage control, and then your volts uh, or arc force or down slope control. Again, just depending on which mode you're in, you know, MIG, stick, or TIG. And then your wave control, which is for when you're running the spool gun when you're doing aluminum. And then down here on the bottom, you've got your spool gun on or off. You've got your remote switch on or off. And then you've got a wire feed button. You can just bump the wire in, you know, rather than pulling the trigger and wasting gas. This will just feed the wire. It's like if you put a new spool in, you can just push this and it'll feed all the way. And you also have a gas test switch on the other side of this one where you can just hit this to purge your line. You know, rather than pulling the trigger, wasting a little wire, you can just bump this, you know, bleed your, you know, purge your line for a second or two, go off to work. So that's all the control panel. And over on the side, you've got the little access door, room for about a 30-pound spool of welding wire, uh, nice drive roller assembly, you know, steel drive rollers in there. You know, it looks like a good stout unit. And then up here, you've got four little screw adjustments for your post-flow and pre-flow the burn back for the, the MIG, and then the slow slow feed adjustment. So when you first pull the trigger, the wire comes out slow until it senses it's close enough to start an arc, then the, the full force of the, speed of the feed comes on, and to work you go. So just a quick little bump on the, on the gas purge, it'll clean that out nice. 25 volts and 150 Inches, I guess, meters, I don't know. <laughs> we got some 5 ace steel ring, and then this is a 3 ace wall on the top of this oxygen bottle. Well, you're making a, a bell. So let me just run a, run a bead across there. strong machine. You know, I, I think I'm going to have fun getting to know this one more and putting it to work, you know, getting some bigger plate in here and, and doing stuff with it. I've also got this, you know, little 16 gauge I'm working on over here. You know, we'll be able to turn it all the way down. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a 110 volt machine. 110 or 220. Uh, in 110 volt, you got 25 volts on the MIG. In 220, you've got 
30 volts available at the MIG, and you're looking at about a $2,100 machine. I'm going to have fun playing with this. i got to get out of these. It's hot here. We'll see you next time. So you got your uh, mode selection over here for your, your MIG stick or uh, MIGs. Golly. <laughs>